Hi guys, my name is Kayla Gunderson. I'm a nursing student at BYU-Idaho and I'm in my last semester. Um, and I'll be graduating in December with my Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. And today I'm just gonna talk a little bit about vaccinations, just because in today's society there's so many different perceptions and ideas about vaccines, are they safe, are they not safe. So I just put together a little PowerPoint to kind of give you the basic facts about vaccinations. So to start, why should we vaccinate? So our little kiddos are exposed to so many germs in the environment. Um, the air they breathe, the food that they eat, the things that they touch, the things that they put in their mouth. There are so many germs everywhere. And vaccine, vaccines are just a safe and effective way to keep our families safe and our community safe. And vaccines have the potential to eliminate communicable, communicable diseases. Um, so take measles, for example. Measles was considered eliminated in 2000, and yet just in 2019 alone, there's been over a thousand reported cases. And this is more cases than we've had since 1992. And then following, like I said, it was basically eradicated in 2000. And it's back today because of um, the lack of vaccinations. Um, and one out of every three deaths is caused by an infectious disease. In the US alone, this is over 800 million a year. And with vaccinations, we have the opportunity to significantly decrease that number. And so the biggest question I've heard about vaccines is are they safe? And the answer is yes. Um, the CDC takes a lot of um, pride in their vaccinations, I guess. Um, safety of their vaccines is a huge priority to them. And before it can ever be given to a human being, the FDA con um, conducts extensive research on these vaccines, and this can take years. Um, they will research it and research it and do test after test to ensure that it is safe um, for humans. And once it is determined to be safe um, and it starts um, being given to people, the FDA, the CDC, the National Institute of Health, and other federal agencies continuously monitor the vaccines um, for their safety. So um, they're continuously monitoring those that have been um, vaccinated. They're constantly looking at the statistics and um, the safety measures of their vaccines. And so a lot of people have questions about how they're made. Um, I know a lot of people have questions specifically about the adjuvant and the formaldehyde in the vaccines because they think that they're a toxin or poisonous for their kids. Um, so we're just gonna go over a quick rundown of how they're made. Um, so the antigen is the bacteria or virus itself. So a little part of the bacteria or virus is weakened so that it can't um, replicate in the body. And so that weakened virus um, is used to build the immunity. So once that's in the body, your immune system makes um, immunity to that. And so that the next time it's exposed, it already has that immunity and it can fight against it. The adjuvant is something that's put in to the vaccine to initiate the immune response. So this is um, basically just put there to boost your immune system against the antigen. It's what um, allows the body to make the immunity essentially. And these are found in um, several places. They're found in antacids, buffered aspirin, and antiperspirants. So we're exposed to these in places other than vaccines. And the stabilizers, these help keep the vaccine effective after they're manufactured. So basically these stabilizers are what keeps it from expiring. So it doesn't have to be administered right after it's manufactured. They can sit for a while um, and wait to be used. And these are naturally occurring in the body. Um, so we are constantly exposed to them. And they're also found in foods like Jell-O. And lastly, the formaldehyde. Um, the formaldehyde is just used to prevent um, from contamination during the manufacturing process. It's just to protect against the bacteria. And our body actually has more formaldehyde right now than you will receive in a vaccine. Um, so it's also found in preservative, preservatives and like the environment around us and some of the household products that we can find in our house. So all of the things in 
vaccines we are exposed to in other places. Um, and together, these four things are what helps our body build the immunity to the diseases. Um, so where and when to get your child vaccinated? There's a lot of places to administer vaccines, including your local pediatrician, your healthcare provider, some urgent care centers um, carry vaccines. Sometimes fire departments um, will have little clinics where they're admin well, they'll set up a little administration table and they can give out vaccines. Um, as to when to get them vaccinated, um, it depends on the vaccine itself. So if you go to the CDC website, there is a little table. So this is for seven years and older. Um, and it kind of goes in, I'll put this in the PowerPoint and share it with you all so you can look at it later. Um, but it's, this is kind of like the little key to this. And so it kind of just shows you which vaccines to give and when. And that's for seven and older. And this one is from newborn to six years. And so again, it just goes by age and by the vaccines to give at that age. Um, so I'll let you go ahead and take a look at that. And also your healthcare provider and pediatrician um, should be able to give you more information on that. And then things to expect. Um, we've already gone over the safety, they are safe, but your child may still experience a fever. This is just your body um, building immunity. That's what happens um, when our immune system kicks in. Pain and soreness at the site um, is, to, is to be expected as well as redness at that injection site. Um, these are all just mild reactions and they should all go away within a few days. And severe long lasting effects are extremely rare with vaccinations. You have a one in a million chance of getting a severe, re severe reaction um, to a vaccination. And getting vaccinated is still your choice. No one can make you vaccine, uh, vaccinate your kids or get a vaccination yourself. Um, but it is important if you decide not to um, get vaccinated to take responsibility. Um, inform your child's school or their child care um, of their immunization status just to protect your child as well as, as well as the children around them. And it's also important if you ever go to the doctor or the hospital or any healthcare setting to inform them of their immunization status as well um, for the safety of your child and everyone around them. And then if your child does get sick or if someone in your community gets sick, make sure to isolate your child from that disease because they have a greater chance of getting that disease. So just protecting them um, in, a case of, in case of an outbreak. Um, and that's all I have for you today. These are the resources I use. Um, the CDC is a great website. Um, for you to use. It has a lot of information about vaccines, um, but thank you so much for listening to my presentation.